Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before we get started, I'd like to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, with Kakadash, and dumb honesty to those green mills to my lunch is true. And also to the whole elect that scatter abroad. I like to say, Shalom, and come back here today with another great and powerful lesson through the spirit and the power of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So the type of daily lesson is believe in order to receive. So I like to say, Shalom, to all I listen and learn. Hope this will help you today and guide you back in the path of righteousness and back to your true power, which in fact is Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So it's all boiling down to the why. The stage is set. Either you a believer or you're unbelief. Either you're holy or you unholy. And either by the, either you just or you unjust. Everyone is standing in their life. And either by the, you know, the great day of the Lord is fast approaching. Also, you know, Jacob's trouble is right upon. We constantly warning you, left and right. We are sounding the law. World War Three has begun. Either by a nuclear holocaust is right upon us. And either by we telling you about famine, pestilence. You know what I'm saying? Earthquakes in diverse places. A lot of things are happening, you know, uh, uh, strange weather patterns. All these things that have a digital society, the MOTB, which in fact is the RFD microchip, the sovereignty of America, May the 22nd through the 28th. We tell you all these things, but you still are being an unbeliever. And I about it, we are right at the end and we have run out of time. And I about it, that, you know, the Lord is getting ready to uh, lay this place down. And I about it, judgment is right upon it. He said, first, my judgment will start at the house of Israel. And I about it, that, out of your unbeliever or your believer. And I about it, that, out of your part of the elect, one third or you're a part of the two third and I did about it the Lord is getting ready to set things back into order we constantly warning you left and right and I did about it that in order to believe to attain what wisdom and knowledge you know this gospel and I did about it that, you know that mindset and I did about it believe so you can what receive and I did about it who have received and who believe and that is the elect the house of David and I did about it we constantly warn you left and right and the two third they did not believe so they could not receive so that about it, they are blinded and I did about it the, the Lord is getting ready to cut them off and we telling you over and over, but this is not a game. The game's about to be over. So the title of the day's lesson, once again, is believe in order to receive. So we can start in the book of uh, Romans chapter 11 and verse 7. And it reads, what then Israel has not attained that which he seeketh for, but the election has attained it and the rest were blinded. And I added about it that, you know, what is Israel seeking for? A lot of people are still in the colonial plantation. God's talking about white man Jesus. Christ, Christ, the Lord love everyone. You know what I'm saying? Everyone can be saved. No, that is a total lie. And I had about it that, you know, the truth is out there. The Lord said, this truth shall be preached throughout the four corners of earth. Then shall the end come. And I had about who has attained the election, the house of David, the prophet. We are signing and crying left and right. We fear the Lord. We love the Lord. And I had about it, we believe and we receive. And I had about it, what? Wisdom and knowledge shall be the understanding of the time, stability of the time. So you must have that right mindset to be stable in these times. And I had about that understanding. You know what I'm saying? So you can go through these turbulent times that we're getting ready to go through. We're in a transition of power. Uh, uh, Esau and Jacob, this, this is the struggle in Rebecca's womb, the, the, the final conflict. And I had about it that we come, it's coming down to the why. And I had about it, we constantly warn you left and right. We telling you about this new disease uh, called uh, monkeypox. It is out, you know what I'm saying? And I had about it that it's only going to uh, escalate. And I had about it that, you know, uh, 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 what's called troubles upon us. Uh, Jacob's troubles a lot. Jacob's trouble is right upon us. And I'd be, we constantly warning you left and right. But a lot of our people would not get it this time around. They are part of the two-third and they would be cut off and down the side because they did not believe and they did not receive. And I'd about it. They are totally blind. They are walking. They are the walking dead. They are in the congregation of the dead because they were that rebellious house. They did not want to return to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So now let's get a, another quick precept. Let's go to Romans chapter 3 and verse 3. Romans chapter 3 and verse 3. One moment. Romans chapter 3 and verse 3. And it reads, For what if some did not believe? Uh, shall their unbelief make the faith of, of God without effect? Verse 4, God forbid, yea, let God be true, but every man a liar, as it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy saying, the, 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 and mightest overcome when thou art judged. So that is about it, you know, the Lord is faithful and true. And that is about it, his word is not returned to him void. And that is about it, you know, your, everyone else is a lie because you're unbeliever. And that is about it, the word is true. And that is about it, you know, anyone that received this, this knowledge, you are possibly a part of the uh, uh, the elect. And that is about it, we constantly warn you left and right. So a lot of people going to be bugged out of their mind because they're not in the right mindset. And that is about it, we constantly warn you left and right. Don't have to understand. Still think that this is a game. Still thinking that they're a good case. We're telling you the famine is right upon starvation. 
food short, water short. We keep hitting you with this because these are the times that we're living in, real time. And I advise that we are here. It is at the door. And I advise that, you know, we might be sound like a broken record, but this is the time that we're living in. We're living in the last day. Perilous times are coming upon us. A great time of trouble that we've never seen before. We still have people that is unbelieving, still don't have the faith, still are playing game and turn their back on Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. They are true power. And I had about not white man Jesus, not Christ. And I had about us that it is beginning to be a thing of the past because the Lord is getting ready to come and judge this place. Recompense and judgment is right upon us. We cuss and warn you left and right. Great death, great mourning, great persecution. And I about, and you still are unbelieving. You still don't believe. That's why you haven't received. And I about, you're still a walking in dark. And I about it that you headed straight for destruction. We cuss and warn you left and right. It is here. It is at the door. So now let's go to Second uh Second Corinthians chapter four. One moment. Second Corinthians chapter four. Second Corinthians chapter four. And we'll start up at verse three, one moment. And it reads, but if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. And that about who is lost? The one that did not believe, the one that did not receive. And who is that? Those are the two third. And that about that rebellious house. They did not want to return to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. And the ideal about it, you're in for a rude awakening. The Lord said, they shall seek me early, but they shall not find. So now let's start back up. Second Corinthians chapter four and verse four. And it reads, in whom the God of this world has blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest, lest light of the glorious gospel of the Hamasiach, who is the image of God, sh should shine upon them. And I had about that, you know, the God of this world, the physical counterpart of Satan, which in fact is the so-called white man, the devil that the Bible speaks of. You don't believe that, but that is about it. That's has, who has blinded you. And also, you know, trusted in the strength of Egypt. Also, AKA Babylon the Great. And that is about it. It will only cause your demise. You are going to line up and take that pseudo sign. You know what I'm saying? You're going to believe those lying wonders. And that is about it. You don't, you're not going to believe in your true power because the Lord will give you a strong delusion so you can believe a lie because that is about it. You will rebel. And that is about it. You turned your back. You did not consider and I did about we are here and I did about that we are running out of time and I did about that everyone is standing in their lot and I did about that you know what I'm saying so every the Lord have perfect control and I did about that the one third and, and the two third is balling down to it it's coming down to the wire and the stage is set so now let's give one more quick precept let's go to Sirach chapter Sirach chapter 39 one moment Sirach chapter 39 one moment Sirach chapter 39 and verse 24 <clears throat> and it reads as his ways are plain unto the holy so are they stumbling blocks unto the wicked let's read that again uh so rock chapter uh 39 of and verse 24 as his ways are plain unto the holy so are they stumbling blocks unto the wicked and that it by it is plain to the election because we believe and we receive, we have attained it. And I did about because we trust and believe in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. And you know, the rest was blind because they were what? They was wicked. It became a stumbling block to them. And I did about it, it came a snap, a trap to them, a, 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 a snap, I mean, a trap and a snare. So, like, and I did about it, you know what I'm saying? They, they cannot get it because the Lord has, has shut the door on them. And I did about it, the Lord is the door. And I did about it, the Lord won't let them in. They shall not enter. And I did about it. He said, Every, anyone that say, Lord, 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 shall not enter the kingdom of heaven. And I did about it. You know, you got the pastor pork chop. You got these uh, uh, so-called Christians in these Polonia plantation. God, these whorehouse, these harlot house. The Lord said he is, he is not uh, in temple made by hand. Ye are the temple of the Most High. But a lot of people still will not get it this time around because they still have that, what you call that uh, Stockholm st uh, Syndrome. They love their oppressor. And I they love it here. And they're getting ready to die here. And I about we constantly warning you left and right. Either you mark for salvation or you mark for death. It's plain and simple. You know what I'm saying? We believe we have attained. And I about the election has attained and the rest were black because they did not believe and they did not receive. And I about it's boiling down to the why the kingdom of heaven it is almost at hand we are running out of time all the ufos sighting all across the world and the first thing you said what is that what is this and i did about his daddy you're getting ready to know he said in that day they shall be willing so all this ignorance is getting ready to be a thing of the past and i'm telling you one thing ignorance would not be excused because the lord said this gospel shall be preached throughout the four corners of the earth then shall the end come. So you don't have any excuse. You have the, the World Wide Web. You have your cell phone right at your uh, fingertip. And I about you can look up the Bible here. It's all sorts. They always ask the middle. What is that? Asking all these stupid questions. And I about 
if you ask the Lord for 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 uh, for for knowledge, He'll give it to you. And I about even though if you're part of the two thirds, He'll open up your eyes. And I about He say, I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. So you got a lot of people, a prophet, even a heathen nation. And I about that. We constantly warn you, left and right. It is down to the wire. The stage is set. All hell is getting ready to break loose. And the return of our Lord is safe. He's getting ready to return. Yahweh Shah Hamasiah. And I right. And I did about great deliverance is coming. You know what I'm saying? To the one that trusts in him, the one that believed in him, the one that received. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of the time. You know what I'm saying? Your mind will be stable in those times of trouble. And I about you must be able to believe in order to receive. And I about that. And the one that is receiving it each and every day, that great and marvelous life, is the house of David, the elect, the prophet. We cuss it, sign and cry, left and right. But you still think that is the game. And the game's about to be over. So now, let's go to uh, <clears throat> one moment. Let's go to uh, uh, Romans chapter 12. Romans chapter 12 and verse, uh, verse 2. Romans chapter 12, just a quick lesson through the spirit. Romans chapter 12 and verse 2. One moment. And it reads, and, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove that is that that is good and acceptable and the perfect will of Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah. So that about it, you gotta let go of the mortal thought. Let go of this, come out of this world. The Lord said, this is not your rest. And I about it, take off the old man, that old mindset and put on the new mindset, the renewing of the mind, you know, receiving this what? This great wisdom and knowledge, that knowledge, that understanding that only come from who? Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah. Let your light shine and be filled with that oil each and every day and be on fire for Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah. And the one that is on fire, it's the house of David, the prophet, the elect, the true believers. And I did about the Lord is only coming back for one third elect, but you do not believe that. And I did about you still thinking that this again. You still thinking that you're a good cat. We're telling you this over and over and over. Warning before destruction. You have been well warned. And I did about it. We're telling you left and right. You don't believe in UFO. You don't believe that uh, our Lord and Savior is a Negro man for the tribe of Jews. He's getting ready to return on that great father shit. You don't believe any of that. You can't wrap your head around. But that about it. your unbelief will be none effect because the Lord is getting ready to return and set things back and all. So we don't even really care. So now, let's go to uh, Second Aries chapter 15. And all you false prophets. And I did about it that he, you got a rule, you got a you got a reward coming, and that is death. So, second Ezra chapter 15, one moment. Second Ezra chapter 15, and we'll start up one moment. We'll start up at verse one moment. Second Ezra chapter 15, one moment. One moment. Second Ezra chapter 15 and verse verse 3. And it reads: Fear not the imagination against thee. Let not the incredulity or the unbelief of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Verse four, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. So that everybody there, it's plain and simple. Either you are, are mocked for, for life or you mocked for death. And that everybody there, we're, we're seeking our salvation each and every day because we believe and we have received what? That wisdom and knowledge, you know what I'm saying? This word, because this word is true. And that everybody there, you know, the Lord is the, 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 the truth, the way and the life. And that everybody there, you don't receive the Lord and the Lord is not dealing with you. You're going to be destroyed. So all your unfaithfulness, you will die in it. And I had about it. We cut one you love. He said you would know it. Death by pain. And the end is being manifest left and right. You know what I'm saying? Yet they had liberty. You know what I'm saying? But they still turned their back on Yahweh. By Shem Yahweh Shah. These, all these false prophets going through these, uh, 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 these are holy houses, which is called churches. And I still call the Lord out of his name. And I about it, you're getting ready to pay. It is payday. The Lord said, Avenging is mine, said the Lord. I will repay. And I about it, all your unbelief, all your faith, and you don't have any works. And I did about it, that the Lord is getting ready to judge this place. We constantly warn you, left and right. We read upon that time. The MOTB, uh, 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 the RFD microchip, the mark of the beast. We're telling you about all these things get ready to come into play. The sovereignty of America. We're not being able to buy or sell. And I did about it. You know, we're telling you about uh, all these uh, blackout, these uh, uh, food shortages. You know what I'm saying? Water shortage. All hell is getting ready to break loose. Starvation. Cannibalism. You know what I'm saying? Uh, monkey pox. This new uh, variant that they have out. And I did about it. You know, hell is right upon us. You know, that tribulation is coming. You know what I'm saying? Great persecution. Death. But you still are not believing. And we are right at the end. You know what I'm saying? In the kingdom of heaven, it is right at hand. Woo! Blessed these, uh, bless, blessed those that hear. You know what I'm saying? And that can see. So now, let's go to uh, Matthew's. We go there now. Let's go to Matthew chapter 13. One moment. Matthew chapter 13. Just a quick lesson through the Spirit and hope that you get edified by the lesson today. 
Uh, Matthew chapter 13. Matthew chapter 13. One moment. Matthew chapter 13. And we'll start up at verse 14. Matthew chapter 13 and verse 14. One moment. <clears throat> and it reads, and, and in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Elijah, which said, by hearing ye shall hear and shall not understand, and seeing ye shall see and shall not perceive. Verse 15, for this people heart is wax gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes they have closed, lest at any time they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears, and should understand with their hearts, and should be converted, and should, should heal them. Verse 16, Ble but, but bless are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. So let's read that again, Matthew chapter 13 and verse 16. But bless are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. Those are the ones that believe and receive. And that about that. this gospel, this understanding, this covering, you know what I'm saying? That, like I told you once before, you don't have this song, which in fact, it's this wisdom and knowledge, this word inside of you, you will be totally destroyed. And I did about it, you know, all the men of law, we know this song, you know what I'm saying? We have piped unto you, you know what I'm saying? We dancing to you, we telling you, we are prophesying, chanting, but you still think that this is foolish. You think that this is something uh, out of a comic book or something. You can't wrap your head around, but that is about it. The Lord is getting ready to crack those clouds. He said, every eye shall see him, even the one that pierced him. And also you unbelievers. The Lord is getting ready to return. So he, you have that gross darkness on you. And I you still are walking in the congregation of the dead. It's no light in you because you believe that God is worth. You rejected not. So the Lord had rejected you. He don't want you at this time. You are the two third. And I did about it. You would know it death by pain. That second death is coming very, very soon. We constantly warn you left and right. This place is getting ready to be destroyed. No inhabitants will be left. If you're not being beamed up, you're getting burnt up. The one that you can't believe in, the UFO, which in fact are the chariots of Israel, the angels are getting ready uh, to return. You know what I'm saying? They destroy this place, also to deliver the elect. But you do not believe that. You still think that this is a game. And I about the games are almost to be over. And also, it will be no more talking when the Lord returns. So rejoice, you have it. So now, let's go to our last and final strip. We'll close out here. No, let's get another quick precept before we close out. Let's go to 2 Thessalonians. 2 Thessalonians, one moment. Second Thessalonians chapter <clears throat> chapter two and we'll start up at um uh, see why we'll start up at we'll start up at verse at verse 10 and it reads uh second Thessalonians chapter two and verse 10 and it reads and with all deceivingness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved the two third verse eleven for and for all this God shall send them a strong delusion that they shall believe a lie. White man Jesus, trust in the strength of Egypt, which in fact is so-called white man, pseudo sign. You know what I'm saying? Trust in uh, them uh, over your health. And I did about not, don't, don't want to believe in your true power. Don't know who you are. That is a strong delusion. And I did about money. You know what I'm saying? Trust in all your possessions. That's a strong delusion. And I did about it. The Lord will cause you to believe homosexual act, a strong delusion. And I did about it. You know what I'm saying? Sephiroth, pride. You know what I'm saying? The Lord is getting ready to destroy this place. You know, great misery is getting ready to come upon a lot of people. The unbelievers, the one that didn't have the faith. You know what I'm saying? And I did about it. The Lord is going to cause a lot of great death and great destruction. And I did about it because you didn't believe in him. When he stretched out his hands all day long, the mouthpiece of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, the prophet, we constantly warning you left and right, but you will not believe and you will not receive. So now, let's start back up. Uh, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 12. And it reads that, that they might be damned who believe not the truth had pleasures in unrighteousness. So you believed in evil than good. And I did about you hated the good and loved the evil. You were quick to do wrong. And I did about when someone went to talk to you, telling you something about the Lord, your how about you? Oh man, I talk back with you later. I get up with you later, man. He's crazy. He's preaching hate speech. And I did about it. The Lord's getting ready to destroy you. So now let's start back up at uh second uh, Thessalonians chapter two. And we'll start back up. We'll read chapter 12. Uh, I mean, chapter uh, verse 12, one more time, that that they all might be damned who believe not the truth, but had pleasures in unrighteousness. Verse 13, but we are bound to give thanks always to to God for you, for you, brethren, beloved of the Lord, because uh, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, 
has from the beginning chosen you to salvation through sanctification of the spirit and the belief of the truth. So that everybody's talking about the elect. You know what everybody know? The one that was preordained preordained to get this from the beginning because we believe and we have a re receive salvation is very close than we yet believe but the one that is not believing and not receiving you know the lord is letting them believe a lie that strong delusion not about because they, they they love the god of this world they love everything around them, this temple world and it's getting ready to be destroyed with that fervent heat so now let's go to our last and final strip and we'll close out revelation chapter uh, 21 we'll close out here revelation chapter 21 and verse one moment we'll go to verse <clears throat> verse 8 revelation chapter 21 and verse 8 and it reads but the fearful and the unbelieving and the unbelieving and the abominable and the murderer and the whoremongers and the sorcerer and the idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone which is the second death let's read that one more time Revelation chapter 21 and verse 8. But the fearful and the unbelieving, that one that did not receive, did not believe, did not consider, and the abominable and the murderers and the whoremongers and the sorcerers and the idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. And everybody, the Lord say, they shall know it, death by pain. And I about that. We constantly warning you left and right. Judgment is right upon it. And he first he said, my judgment will start at the house of Israel. You wicked Negro men. You wicked Negro women. And I about that. The game's about to be over. And I about We have run out of time. And, and, and the kingdom of heaven is right at hand. And I about We constantly warning you left and right. Right upon World War Three. Right upon this global reset. The sovereignty of America. The monkey pox. It is out. So a lot of things are getting ready to have a great time of trouble that we have never seen before. Jacob's trouble. It is here. It is at the door. But the Lord said, for the elect's sake, the one that believed and the one that received, he's getting ready to return and set things back in order. So the title of the day's lesson, once again, is believe in order to receive. So I like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rekha I like to say, Shalom.